Hi, it's Sine again, and this quick video is designed to help you, by helping me, help you. <laughs> if that doesn't make any sense, stay with me. Um, those of you who need my help and need me to connect to your computer to look over your shoulder as you do things, uh, there's a tool that I use that I need you to install. This video will show you how to do that. Navigate now to teamviewer.com. That's T E A M viewer.com. And just below this lovely young woman is a download now, it's free button. Choose this and save the file to your computer. Uh, you'll want to select an area on your computer that you can remember and get back to. I'm going to put it in my download folder and it's called teamviewer underscore setup. I'm going to save that now and once it finishes downloading I'm going to be able to open it and run it. Okay, I'm just simply opening teamviewer.setup and I, I chose a method to open it that you might not have if you don't have the download bar. Just navigate through Windows Explorer to this location. Click Run and we're going to choose install. Choose next. You want to choose personal non-commercial use and next. And you do need to tick both of these agreements. It basically says you're going to keep it private, you're not going to make a bunch of money by using this and, and that you understand your terms. Click next. We do want to choose the default installation <coughs> uh, which is normal. Now if you choose this, you'll be required to put a password in and what will happen is TeamViewer will open automatically every time you reboot your computer and this will be a password that will be fixed rather than changing each session. Again, I recommend normal installation which is the default. Choose next and it will install it and that's, that's it, it's done. Now basically, when it finishes, it'll place this window in front of you. This is what's called the connection window. You'll see a wait for session area with your ID and your password. This will probably be blank and will be set for remote. I was actually just connected with someone a moment ago. Um, this is the window that you'll launch using the desktop icon that was installed with the program. It's called TeamViewer 4. Uh, when it's time for us to get online, simply go to TeamViewer 4, give that a double cl a click, and again you'll see this window. You're going to read me the number on the left. That's going to allow me to connect to your computer and look over your shoulder. Once again, the password will change each time, so I'll need, I'll need both these numbers. Read me the ID first, and then when I ask for it, the password. Uh, once we're connected, I'll be able to see your computer, or if we're in presentation mode, you'll be able to see mine. Okay, that's how to install TeamViewer and get connected with me. I hope this has helped.